Where can you find astronauts, SpaceX employees, and Ellie in space? Well, I'll be in Las Vegas next month for an Ascend Space Conference. You guys remember I went to this last year for the first time partnering with AIAA. I also went to SciTech back in January, which is a more technical conference, but I'm excited to go to Ascend for the second time. And those dates are October 23rd through the 25th. And looking at the roster of speakers, we have actually more than one speaker from SpaceX. So it's going to be really exciting to hear from some on the Starship team, uh, the VP of Built and Flight Reliability, William Gerstenmeier, AKA Gerst, who was with NASA for a very long time. I'm hoping to get another interview with him. We're also going to see some high ups with Blue Origin as well as Sierra Space. Now, the day that this video is being aired, Friday, September 15th, is the deadline for the early bird registration. And after that, the prices go up. Now, of course, if you're not able to go to Las Vegas, which I know many of you are not able to for financial or uh, geographical reasons, that is why I will be there to cover this event. And I'm really looking forward to going back I missed the last AIAA space related conference back in March because I had just broken my leg, which was unfortunate because it was here in Texas. So I'm really looking forward to being back with the team and networking and meeting people in the space industry and getting really interesting interviews for you guys while I'm down there. Now, of course, if you're not familiar, AIAA is the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, and they will be holding Ascend at Caesars Forum in Las Vegas. So what exactly is Ascend? It is the world's premier outcomes-focused interdisciplinary space event designed to accelerate well, building our off-world future. So the speakers are from international, civil, commercial, and national security space sectors, as well as adjacent industries. So you may be wondering what some of the themes are. We're gonna talk about space traffic management, which we know is important, especially with the crowding of low Earth orbit and Starlink satellites, for example, space and sustainability, space exploration and infrastructure, space security and protection, space economy, and education, outreach, and workforce. So the Ascend program will have almost 150 sessions spanning the six critical space domain topics. Of course, AIAA wants to shout out Lockheed Martin, Boeing, JPL, Aerospace ULA, Aerojet Rocketdyne, and Northrop Grumman. Now, of course, we're not just going to see speakers and presentations. We're actually going to see some pitches for competitions and these finalists will ultimately receive investments and awards for challenges like the Humans in Space Challenge. For example, Boryoung, a leading healthcare investment company, has partnered with AIAA to bring the Humans in Space Symposium to the Ascend event. So at Ascend, we'll see the final pitches of the company's annual Humans in Space Challenge. The competition, which was launched in May, aims to discover early stage startups and researchers dedicated to transforming human life in space. Now, during the symposium at Ascend, finalists will present solutions and research before a panel of space experts, and winners will receive investments, awards, and opportunities to participate in mentorship programs. And if you're watching this video right now on September 15th, Friday, you still have time to enter an AIAA giveaway. AIAA is giving away an on-demand course about space architecture and designing a lunar habitation system. Two of the most successful videos on my channel are about the future of housing. So I asked Jim what the habitats on the moon could look like. So we're, we're working on a number of different uh, technologies right now to help us, you know, inflatable habitation certainly is something that we've talked about. Our environmental control and life support system is incredibly important to the operation of, the, uh, uh, of those. So if you think about Mars, it's a logistical nightmare. We, so we have to learn how to recover oxygen from, uh, from the atmosphere so that we don't have to transport oxygen out there for the crew. We're, we're proving some of that out on space station today, actually flying some of the same systems that will fly on Mars, we're testing on space station today. Um, it's also, how do you put habitation so if you look at where we're going on the South Pole of the Moon, 
the lighting is very difficult. So where we might land today is we're gonna have to land in a different place in two weeks. So we can't just put our habitation in one spot. We almost have to think about distributing across where we're going so that if we don't launch today and we have to go somewhere else in two weeks, we have that habitation system to actually go to. So it's almost like a, a distributed set of camping as opposed to just ending up in one spot. So if you're interested in that, head to the Ascend Instagram page for more details. Actually, since going to the Ascend Space Conference last October, I've been to many different conferences and it's actually a world that I wasn't too familiar with until Ascend. One of my favorite parts about the conferences, I think some people maybe don't get excited by the word conference, but I really enjoy especially the opportunity to network with people. I see a lot of these speakers and just folks that will be there that, for example, I may have been trying to interview for months and then we're there in the same place and I'm able to talk to them. Um, and I've talked to some really interesting people at every single conference that I've been to, including uh, an engineer for Spot with Boston Dynamics, William Gerstenmeyer, AKA Gerst with SpaceX. Also learned about the XPRIZE Foundation directly from the founder herself. So there is a lot of uh, really interesting networking opportunities. And I think that that's really important for my channel. Sometimes it's hard to get a hold of people. So I know that not everyone is going to be able to be there, but hopefully you enjoy the content that I produce. In fact, one of my favorite things from last year is uh, one of the sessions, we got to play a board game about cybersecurity in space, and it was just really creative, extremely interactive, and I wasn't expecting to play a board game and have so much fun with it, so. As you know, uh, space is a strategic asset, um, and it's an important part of the U.S. security strategy, and um, there are competitors and agents in the world who would like to be able to reduce our uh, ability and they are investing in ways of uh, asymmetrically, if you will, try and reduce our ability to uh, project space power. One of the way is through anti-satellite ASAT capabilities. Another way is through cyber. The big difference is this, about four or five nations today have ASAT capabilities all nations have cyber capabilities. Right. ASAP capabilities are very expensive. Cyber capabilities are not. And this game is meant to accentuate that. I'm excited to see what surprises are at Ascend that I don't even know about, but hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Even if you can't go, I still think this is worth your interest. So please make sure to give this video a like comment below who you want to see me get an interview with potentially. And uh, I'm just really looking forward to it. So October, I'm getting pretty busy because I have really back to back the Ascend Space Conference. And then I fly home on Wednesday and the next day I'm going to Houston for the zero G experience that was delayed, but better late than ever. I'm very excited, a little bit nervous for it. I hope that I don't feel sick. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and supporting Ellie in Space. I'll see you in the next one.